Welcome back to Dish Nation. Well, in honor of Black History Month, we are shining a light on what is probably the most legendary guitar player in history. Let's see if Frank knows who it is. Jimmy with an I, J-I-M-I Hendrix. Yeah, Jimi Hendrix. I mean, the best, right? Oh. And there's some stuff that you may not have even known about. Well, he started playing guitar when he was 15 years old, and he actually played uh, for Tina Turner. I didn't know that. Sam Cooke. Sam Cooke. He played with Sam Cooke and Little Richard. And when he was 24, he was discovered in London. Within months, he had his band, The Jimi Hendrix Experience. I mean, that quickly, people were noticing, like, how amazing he was. Yeah, hey, Joe, Purple Haze. Foxy Lady. Foxy Lady. Yeah. Then just a couple years later, in 1969, Jimi Hendrix went to uh, Woodstock, where he played his, I mean, epic oh. version of the Star Spangled Banner. Right, yeah. He did that without being able to read or write music. I don't even know how you do that. And not only did he have the controlled distortion and the feedback that he yeah. would use, obviously, when you are a Star Spangled Banner and his style of play, and he also played it upside down. Oh, I didn't it, know that. Yeah, it, it was strung from the bottom up. It was like he was playing a right-handed guitar, left-handed. Like I said, not one lesson, couldn't read music. What? And he just picked up a guitar that was strung for a right-handed guy, and he's left-handed, so he was like, he played it upside down. So the bass, the bass strings were on the bottom, and the, and the high strings were on the top. That's mind-blowing. I didn't know amazing. that about It's amazing. Jimi <laughs> Hendrix, crazy. icon. Yes. We'll